Yes, we are. Tornado warning for St. Croix. Get ready for weather radio madness. The Twin Cities has issued a tornado warning for. Tornado warning for Saint Croix. Get ready for weather radio Got an SBA. That's something. Well, yeah, that's it. That, what you just watched, was a particularly dangerous situation, severe thunderstorm watch, which Ramsey County is under, which is where I'm currently standing in right now. And, yeah, so we think we got ourselves a potential weather event. That severe thunderstorm watch also would have activated weather radios on channel 5 serving Clearwater. 
or the Clearwater stations, but I did not get that on Channel 5, which is unfortunate. During the time I had this to Channel 5 and this to Channel 2, I now got those two switched up. So this is on Channel 2, this is on Channel 5, and this is still on Channel 7. So... I actually might play something on channel one if there are anything. Let's see. <laughs> this weather radio isn't particularly that great at DXing. But, anyways, this is basically it. Stay tuned for more alerts if we get any. And yeah. The National Weather Service in the Twin Cities has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Western Rose County in northwestern Wisconsin, northern Barron County in northwestern Wisconsin, northeastern Polk County in northwestern Wisconsin until 8.15 p.m. At 7.43 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located over Hagen, or 10 miles north of Rice Lake, moving southeast at 50 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will be near Rice Lake around 7.55 p.m. Other locations in the path of this severe thunderstorm include Warehouser. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. This is where the radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis, St. Paul. On a frequency of 162.550 megahertz. Serving listeners throughout much of East Central Minnesota and West Central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Web. Oh, that's where that was. Anyways, first severe thunderstorm warning. Yeah. Oh, crud. Tornado warning! a tornado warning for northwestern Polk County in northwestern Wisconsin until 9 p.m. At 8.08 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located six miles east of Rush City or 11 miles southeast of Pine City, moving southeast at 30 miles per hour. Expected hazards include tornado and quarter-sized hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Luck and Milltown. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. To report severe weather, contact your nearest law enforcement agency. They will send your report to the National Weather Service Office in the Twin Cities. This is where the radio station... Oh, there we go. Anyways, that was it. The National Weather Service in the Twin Cities has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Chicago County, southwestern Barron County in northwestern Wisconsin, southern Polk County in northwestern Wisconsin, until 9.45 p.m. At 8.54 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located over Centuria, or 33 miles east of Cambridge, moving southeast at 50 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 70 mile per hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. This is a 
radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. This light is orange, by the way. Considerable tree damage. Wind damage is also likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. This severe thunderstorm will be near, mainly around 9, 10 p.m. Other locations in the path of this severe thunderstorm include Clear Lake. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. That actually scared me so bad. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, another severe thunderstorm warning. But, yeah, that's basically it. Switched Radio Shack 12-991 to channel 3, and I moved it out of the grandfather clock. Yes, <laughs> work number 100! update as well so <laughs> anyways that was channel three and channel one let me see what this is on anyways yeah that was on channel three and channel seven so boy am i going to hear that a lot during the night yeah channel six is really crappy at the moment crud What's going on with channel six? I wasn't planning to use it anyway, but anyways, yeah, that's it. Okay, so here's an update for where we're at. Radio Shack's on KJY80. Um, all of these radios, these five radios you see before you, other than this one, of course, are on KC65, and this is on WNG676, if that's right, on Clearwater, channel five. But yeah, that's it. Here, that, that's just a little update. The National Weather Service in the Twin Cities has issued a tornado warning for Central St. Croix County until 10 p.m. At 9.36 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Star Prairie, or 21 miles north of River Falls, moving southeast at 45 miles.
double header, my very first. My first ever same tone double header, and we received this at two different stations. But yes, as you can hear, I got my very first same tone double header. EAS alert. I am going to be up all night. Channel 5 doesn't seem to be active right now in terms of alerts, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn this to channel 7 where KC65 is. So we're gonna be getting alerts from channels three, KJY80, and KC65 on channel seven. Also that double header, both alerts on that double header were received on channel three and channel seven. And that's where the Sanjin's gonna fit as well. So channel seven for the Sanjin, 991 on channel three, all the rest on channel seven. Yeah, that's it. Also, this is getting low on battery, so, or not, hmm, anyways, it had the little battery lamp indicated, it lit, so, that's basically it. Tornado warning for St. Croix, get ready for ra weather radio madness, Sanjin's gonna go off also, cause it's on channel 7. Tornado warning just got issued for St. Croix. There we go. Yes, we are. The National Weather Service in the Twin Cities has issued a tornado warning for southeastern St. Croix County until 10.30 p.m. At 9.55 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Hammond, or 15 miles northeast of River Falls, moving southeast at 20 miles per hour. Expect expected hazards include tornado and quarter-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The, follow the following impacts are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage, damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near. Hammond around 10.05 p.m. Baldwin around 10.10 p.m. Other locations in the path of this tornadic thunderstorm include Woodville. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. This is where the radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis, St. Paul. 
Once again, on channel 3 and on channel 7. Nice. Another tornado warning. It's like 3. Yes. <laughs> mm. Yeah. That's my reaction. Just yeah. For the rest of the event, I'm only going to have the Radio Shack here go off. And I'm going to have this Radio Shack here go off as well. So, once again, this is on channel 3. This is on channel 7. And all of these are also going to activate. You know what? I should leave this on. Put it on display. Oh, you know what? That's right, there are mechanisms in these radios which make their sirens activate for tornado warnings, which I have seen in the Alertworks EIR-10 in a video. Shoot. <sighs> Probably just prepare for that video. Just, the Sanjin's not going to be going off for the rest of the night, but all these radios are still. These are the two ones that are mainly going to be on audio for that stuff, but yeah. Well, every few minutes, something like this happens. This is crazy.
just doing the boost signal and signal on sit and it's in channel three. Alright. An alert on top of an alert. Fantastic. not going to get good reception on channel 3 for long, so. Therefore, the warning will be At least it's getting a bit better, but. Yeah. It's going to go on and on and on and on. Alright, good Hugh, Minnesota is a pick. Uh, wasn't it on channel 1? It was expanded. Good Hugh on channel one, I think. Oh, that was on channel three. Okay, so we got a portion of that end alert there. I'm not too sure how long we're gonna be able to get channel three anymore, but I did get that. Watch expansion there, just the ending part of it. But yeah, that's basically it. All right, we're gonna have to abandon channel three here for a while, because we are unable to get this signal. In Iowa? But yeah, that's it. How well is this getting on channel three? I don't think it's gonna do well, but that's basically it. I think all the rest of the alerts we're gonna concentrate on KC sixty five. You know what? Let's see what other stations are available. to stand KC-65 for the rest of the event. But yeah, that's it. This is what it looks like from inside my room at this moment. There we go. But yeah. I wonder if you could guys, if you guys could guess what those lights are. Which light belongs to which radio. Spotted lightning. Crap. Huh. 
Oh wait, that, that's static electricity. I mean, if it's lightning, but yeah, that's it. Whenever backlights come up, it's time to get more alerts. But yeah, I've minimized the volume of the nine nine one, the one with the orange light. Oh, what's this? Oh. Oh, it must be alternating between red and... Huh. For the... Hmm. Anyway. Yeah. That radio, I've set that to a limited volume. I've turned off the 521 audio alerts. But I still cannot guarantee that only one of these radios are going to sound for the tornado warning, for a tornado warning. All these are probably going to sound for a tornado warning. But this is something I cannot avoid at the moment. Oh. Alright, the lights are turned off. Oh my gosh. Am I seeing? Crap. Through here, flickering from outside my window. What the heck? That's crazy. We are seeing. A lot of lightning at the moment from the clouds. Crap. I'm not too sure if you can see this, but lightning is striking from above the clouds at the moment. But yeah, that's it. This viewer for Pepin County. Oh wait, I can't get that. That's not on channel three. That's on channel three, not channel seven. That's right, because I can't get channel 3 anymore. Well, never mind then. Severe thunderstorm watch number 399 remains in effect until 2 a.m. Thursday, and now includes the following county, Rubyhue, Minnesota. Remember, a severe heck? thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA weather radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. That's for good Hugh County? Does KC-65 serve good Hugh? I'm not too sure. Oh yeah, also, I turned off the WR-120, the WR-100, and the HH-54 with the radio functionalities. So, that way I hear less radios when tornado warnings happen. But, Good Hue is part of KC-65? I thought I saw this on Channel 3. Well, whatever. I guess I'll see. Yeah, well, the weather service in the Twin Cities has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Central Goodhue County in southeastern Minnesota, Pepin County, Pierce County, Southern Dunn County, until 11.45 p.m. At 10.57 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located 6 miles west of Plum City, or 12 miles east of Red Wing, moving southeast at 40 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 70 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect considerable tree damage. Wind damage is also likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. 
this severe thunderstorm will be near Plum City and Frontenac around 11.05 p.m. Stockholm around 11.10 p.m. Other locations in the path of a severe thunderstorm include Pippin. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. To report severe weather, contact your nearest law enforcement agency. They will send a report to the National Weather Service Office in the Twin Cities.